I got here from the late 2013 Mac Pro, possibly the most expensive workstation I've ever owned. Now the trash can gets a lot of bad talk, but it worked for me. I ran Lightroom Photoshop Final Cut Pro, and it worked in the studio 24 seven for years without downtime. I moved on to the M1 and M2 Pro, and now this little M4 Pro has just shocked me with what Apple's been able to do in just five years. You've seen all the benchmarks. I don't really do that sort of stuff, but let me give you a taste of my workflow. After every shoot, the very first thing I do is import images into a Lightroom catalog, create some one-to-one -one previews, add copyright and client information. Once all that's finished, I scrub through the entire catalog from the bottom up. Once I find a standout, I give it a quick once over with some basic edits. Crop, contrast, color, sharpening. Quick and dirty, I'm not trying to be a perfectionist at this stage. If something needs a little more work, I'll send it over to Photoshop. The workstation has to be able to run Lightroom and Photoshop side by side without freezing or crashing. Some of my retouching files are over 500 megabytes. I made this timeline using clips all the way up to 8K. Added a bunch of adjustment layers, titles, effects, dynamic backgrounds. The M4 Pro ran that with absolutely no problem whatsoever. I don't think it was even using 25, 30% of the CPU or GPU power. I could play back without even having to render uh, the timeline. So let's talk about all those benchmarking reviews. I've watched a few myself. Here's my quick take. For me, the M4 Pro makes sense because those previous machines had paid for themselves many times over. So I was already in the money when the M4 platform was released. I also wanted a little bit of extra headroom, just some flexibility to grow the system out for at least a year or two. After that, we all know Apple's gonna come out with the next best thing. If you have an M1 or M2 base model, the M4 is a no-brainer. I say go ahead and do it. If you've got an M1 Max or Ultra, you might want to hang on to those because if you need the extra GPU cores, they do perform faster in certain functions. Hope that helps.